Get ready with me, number four. 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 I had a collision, so listen, I'm about to get ready with me. With my brother that I need. Whoa. I know how to freestyle in Tigrana? Yeah, you're, you didn't think your girl knew how to freestyle bit Tigrana, right? <laughs> I'm trying to find a theme song for this Get Ready With Me, so <laughs> bear with me. Ninja Myth. Hey. Alright guys, in today's Get Ready With Me, I asked on Instagram what topic you guys want me to discuss today and you guys gave me amazing topics but today we're gonna tackle on a topic that always comes up which is insecurities and how I deal with them yeah I know so I hope you guys got your tea I hope you guys got your bun and your corsi bun it's gonna be a fun one but before we get started if you aren't subscribed to my channel be sure to click that subscribe button if you want to be notified every single time I drop a video click that bell icon as well and if you want to follow me on Instagram join the IG live fun be sure to follow my Instagram page as well now let's get started with today's video this is gonna be an interesting one on Tim <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna spritz my face with aloe rose water. And if you guys didn't catch my makeup haul video, I'm gonna link it right over here for you guys because I featured this product on there. And then I'm gonna take a Vino Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer and I'm going to moisturize my face. So I said this on IG Live, but it's critical for you guys to have SPF in your um, skincare regimen. It's so important to protect yourself from the sun. But if you are even from like a cold area and it snows a lot, like for instance Toronto, it snows a lot in the winter time. And once there is a huge meadow of snow and that sun reflects the snow, it's like bam. Like people forget that they should be using sunglasses when it snows. So think about sunscreen the same way you think about protecting your eyes when it's sunny outside. When it's sunny outside, you're just like, whoa, the sun's like too much. Let me put on some glasses, some sunglasses. You should say the same thing about your skin. Do you guys get it? Did I do kundo? Like, Anyway, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply foundation on my face. So the foundation that I'm going to use is one that I haven't used in a while. It's by L'Oreal and it's the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. So if you have super oily skin, this is a pretty good foundation to use. It's super, super, super mattifying. So I'm just going to apply it on the brush here and I'm going to apply it on my face. That may have been a little too much, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay. So insecurities and how I deal with them. You kind of have to just own it. Like I personally have major insecurities and I think in my first get ready with me, I spoke about how I was really, really insecure about how dark my under eye circles are. And I used to be so insecure about it. And I guess I am a little bit, but just not as much as before. Like I wouldn't leave anywhere until I put on concealer on my face. Like, I would just get sad about it because I didn't like the fact that I had dark circles. Nobody in my family has dark circles or like as dominant as mine. And it was just kind of like, it's just, it was just kind of a bummer for me. But the thing is over time, you'll know this and you'll accept this as time goes on. You just have to accept with, with what you got. Like seriously, you really have to thank God at the end of the day. Like for instance, for me, I will, um, on my alarm, when it goes off, like, I don't know about Androids, but I, I know on iPhones, you could label what your alarm will say. So by default, it says alarm, but you could change that to be like work or pick up, you know, the groceries or something like that, right? You can set your alarm titles. So my alarm says, thank God. So it gives me a reminder that first thing in the morning when I wake up, I have to thank God. Number one, that I woke up and I'm alive and I'm here and it's a new day, you have faith in yourself and you're just gonna conquer the day no matter what. Do you know what I mean? Dark circles, not dark, like, like you really gotta take it in perspective. You have to look at your situation, you have to look around and be like, things could be a lot worse. For instance, I think about my parents and the struggle that they've kind of overcome with, you know, everything and what they've done and what they've sacrificed and everything. So 
that's how that's one practice I do and if you're if you're dealing with insecurities set your alarm for whatever time it is that you have to wake up if you need an alarm and just have thank God and prayer hands just be like thank God mm. trust me I deal with you know trying to get these videos out on time and trying to put videos out there period the fact that I started vlogging and I have to be like on camera without any makeup and stuff like that that was a huge deal for me like I was trying to work around not showing my face without any makeup but you you just have to own it like almost all my posts on Instagram are with me without any makeup. I'm out here on YouTube. Like this is internet. This is like a kulu kulu. You can't be hefer hefer. Like you can't be like, ooh, ah, like I can't, like, mm, no, just do it. I'm out here, I'm out here speaking to Grania and like not knowing all the words and like trying to learn as I go. But like there was a part of me that was just like, I don't want to speak a sentence into Grania until I know it like fluidly, like until I know it, like my ruba, like I need to know Tigrinia like no other. And then sometimes you think you're just like, no, this is who I am. This is how I pronounce words. I'm trying and that's it. And then what happens? A bunch of you guys say, oh my God, that's, that's how I say it. Or, oh my God, me and my sisters do this too. Or that's what we used to do when we were kids. And you know, it's just fun at the end of the day. But in terms of insecurities, that's how I deal with it. I just own it. I have faith in it and that's it. And again, like I said, it's easier said than done. And it took me a really long time to deal with it because the under eyes were like, there were a lot more insecurities that I've had, but we don't have time <laughs> to go through like an entire list of all the insecurities that I had, but you just kind of, you deal with it. You thank God for what you have, the fact that you're, that you are blessed and you are special in your own way. And that's it. I don't know, like in Thai, 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 like you understand what I'm trying to say? <sighs> Let me close this blind because the Tsahai is burtur burtur and I'm not liking it, excuse me. Oh, Tamaskan Amlak, so much better. The Tsahai was just like, Inky, and I'm just like, no. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do concealer under my eye. I'm actually, I'm not matte. Can I tell you how matte this is? I don't know why I don't wear this more often. Hmm. So the concealer that I'm gonna be using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm gonna apply that under my eye. And hakai-ish, like on the real, if we wanna talk about trying to overcome your insecurities, would. Look at my older videos on YouTube and even on Instagram and tell me the difference. Tell me the difference in this con in this video and the like the, maybe the first video that I put out. I was very like, and so you do this and you do that and yeah, it will work. Or, my name is Second. Like, it's just like so stiff stiff. Like, just go with the flow. But, but then I was like, oh my god. I'm on camera, what am I gonna do? Like, you know, you just get really anxious and nervous for no reason and then you're just like, oh, it's not that bad. It's tough, don't get me wrong. And I'm very much like, <laughs> I hope, uh, you know, this video does well or whatever. But then when I do videos like get ready's with me, I'm just like, because I get this, like this is fun and I'm gonna continue having fun doing it. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and blend out my concealer. I mean, what I get insecure about is like, you know, will this, will I be um, successful? Like, am I helping people? You know, you get insecure when you're starting like a YouTube channel, when you're starting anything new, you think about if there's any good that's coming out of it. And sometimes you get really insecure about the numbers. You get really insecure about a bunch of other things. You get insecure about how I look, what I said, how I said it, when I said it. Like there's a bunch of insecurities that come and I get insecure for instance about my editing. Like I wish I was better, but then you really gotta put in the work in order to make yourself better. So it's kind of like, I try my best to not bring myself down I know this is a journey and I know it's gonna be a long journey, but I always have to remind myself, I love doing this, I'm having a blast doing it, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. You know what I mean? The fact that I am talking about my insecurities, ooh, that's my mom. I came a long way, I can tell you that. You wanna talk about insecurities? I put the fact that I had no edges, none, zero, zip, and bald spots all up in my head on Instagram on the WW internet. Anton, you just gotta own it. Like you just be like, mm, this is who I am. This is the person that I am at the end of the day. I put 
but like patches, patches of bald areas that I had. If you were to ask me last year if I would ever post those pictures or even show anybody those pictures, I'd have been like, not a chance. There would have been no way I would have showed anyone those pictures. And the fact that I was like, you know what? If this could help somebody the way that it helped me, then yeah, I am gonna do it. I've always been really insecure about my hair, always. From as long as I can remember, super insecure about my hair. My mom would try to braid it when I was a kid and it would unravel because of how thin and loose it was. So I'd always have to rock a ponytail. I wore hats everywhere. From when I was a kid, I wore hats. From when I was an adult, I would, I would just wear hats. Like I would wear, we like to call it a toque or a beanie, if you will. And I would always have my hair covered because I was just too embarrassed. I don't know, I just wasn't comfortable with myself. And then on my recent trip to Eritrea, when I chopped it all off, my hair straight was up to my ear. So when I washed it, it was like above my ear. And like, it was, the curls were not there. It was just straight after I washed it. I felt even more low. And then it was just a tough time for me. But I think at that moment, I was just like, you know what, it'll grow back. It is what it is, I don't care. And that kind of snowballed into treating my hair more. That snowballed into making videos that snowballed into sharing the treatments that I do with you guys and that's it like you know what I mean but you got to make a choice are you gonna think about all the insecurities that you have and have them hold you back for what you really want to do or are you gonna own them and then strive especially these past couple of months owning my insecurities has helped me more than it's deterred me from anything I hope that helps I hope I, I've given you guys a bit of advice you're not alone if you guys feel that your insecurities are holding you back from things because insecurities can do that. But once you own them, once you have faith, it's like you're good. So Okay, so I'm going to do my brows. Or should I do the eyeshadow first? Yeah, I'm going to do eyeshadow first. So I put a bit of concealer. And then I'm going to take the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use Brooklina, Ada, and Zulu. Actually, I'm going to put this... I'm gonna put this color all over my lid. It's a nice brown too. I actually had a question um, when I was on live and somebody had asked if it's hard to do YouTube. So shout out to you. Um, she asked really awesome questions on my live and she was like, hey, like, do you find it hard to kind of break the ice when it comes to YouTube? And when I tell you it was hard, it's I still find it a challenge because sometimes the videos come out the way that you want Sometimes videos don't come out the way that you want and you're just like, all right, let me uh, let me deal with this. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's, it's new and it's a lot of hard work because you're coming up with the content, you're producing the video, you're then editing the video and then you're, you know, posting the videos. It's difficult for me because I'm trying to edit better and better as I go along. So it's kind of like you're trying to find what is uh, what's best suitable for your videos or what's what's something that you can incorporate in your videos or in your content in general that that's good you know so it is a bit of a challenge because things always change and then you have to worry about the algorithm you have to worry about metrics and all that stuff so it's kind of like it does get overwhelming but you kind of have to remember to have fun with it and then next I'm gonna take this beautiful Zulu color right here and I'm gonna apply that on my crease whoa yeah Ooh, dang oh wow this is this is adventurous. I'm liking this. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna take this nice deep, kind of like a mauvey burgundy color, and I'm gonna set that on my lid. Ooh. Hiya. Ooh, you bebere messy lu aine. What? Come through with the bebere. Auntie? Hiya. Hiya. We let. Okay. What? What? So I'm gonna take that same color I put on my lid under my eye because I'm feeling cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who I am. Cave fat ire, but I'm feeling this. Excuse. Bebere aini. Bebere aini. Bebere aini. Bebere aini. Hiya. Alejido. Alejo what? Alejido. Okay, let's get it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is do the same thing to my other eye. And we're going to move on to my eyebrows. Alright guys, Bebera eyes are back. And this is the first, I think this is maybe the first time I've ever done something like this. So, hi yeah. Bebera I need. Quinky, Bebera I need. Quinky. 
Pinky. <laughs> Bebe, Bebe, I'm going to just put a little bit of eyeliner. Some people do smoky eye and I'm learning, but I'm a I'm a just try to do with the bebeda right now. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to come through with the bebeda eyes. What y'all think? Bebeda eyes, it's a new thing. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is go in. I don't know, should I go like quahli mahli and do like under eye? Yeah, let me do that. I haven't done that in forever and it always reminds me of my mom. Here's another thing to really work on your insecurities. Talk talk to somebody that you can trust about what's really going on. Whether that's your mom, your your sisters, your brothers, your friends, a professional, a kashi, like I don't know. But make sure it's somebody that you can trust. <laughs> Hi yeah. So that was the eyeliner by Mac. Um and it's called Smolder. It's like super super black. But I just put just tiny tiny, nothing too big. So I'm gonna take telescopic and apply some mascara to my lashes. So let's make like Sunday the thing. Record your favorite part of this video on Instagram stories, tag me in it, and I'll repost it on my page. I think that would be awesome. And I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye. So I really want to try the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. And I have this featured in my makeup haul video. And this is going to be my first time using it, so... Oh, the brush is nice. And Tai Tai for her jing. Oh, wait. My eyebrows. So I'm gonna take Anastasia uh, dip brow and I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrow. Oh, eyebrow video is coming up soon. I'm just waiting for my brows to kind of grow out so I can show you guys how I do it at home. Oh wait, I forgot blush. Let me blush up my face first. I'm gonna take uh, my blush by Tarte called Party and I'm just gonna apply that just lightly on my cheeks. Just not a whole lot of blush because I kind of want the eyes to be like the more dominant look. Alohum do. Alohum do. Alohum do. Let's get Alana Badu up to your ito. Up to our comment section. Alana Badu. Okay. Desk of So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline in gold and I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones. I'm just going to take my elf brush here and I'm going to apply that it's on my cheekbone. Oh why? Hello. Oh, oh. And just a little bit on my nose. <laughs> oh why? So the next thing that I'm going to do is my lips. So the color that I'm going to use for my lips this week is by MAC Cosmetics and it's in the color taupe. So I'm going to apply that on my lips. And it's like a nude brown, so, and I'm into it, because I don't want to go in with a bold lip because my eyes are pretty bold right now, um, I'm just going to go in with a subtle nude lip. So I'm now I'm just going to use my brown liner by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm just going to line my lips. So I'm just going to take my uh, Maybelline Fit Me press powder and just powder around my mouth because I smile a lot and I have laugh lines. All right. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I love making these get ready with me's. If you guys have a different topic that you guys want me to discuss, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope this topic kind of helped you guys in some sort of way. I know for me, insecurities were extremely hard to overcome, but I hope this video gave you guys a bit of insight that you can overcome your insecurities and they won't get the best of you. So with that being said guys, if you aren't subscribed to my channel just yet, click that subscribe button. If you want to be notified every single time I drop a video on this channel, click that bell icon as well. And if you guys want to follow me on IG Live, be sure to follow my page. I'll leave the link right over here on the screen. And don't forget, record your favorite part on your IG story and tag me in it and I'll repost it. Alright guys, with that being said, I will see you in my next video. I feel my bones getting a little thick. I must get on that.